Comment ça va, mon cher? Uh, last month we didn't do a field trip. There wasn't much going on. Uh, really wasn't too much to see. Everything was still small. But now that we're in about the third week of May, things have grown just a little bit. So let's get out there and uh, see what's happening. This stuff is getting huge. Some of these stalks are almost the size of a 10 ounce beer can. My fingers can barely touch. Good healthy corn. Right next to the snap beans, remember the purple hull peas we planted? Well, here they are looking good. At least they don't break. With all the rain we had, this stretch of potatoes stayed under water for, for days. Soon as it would kind of dry up, it would rain again and it would go under water. Last time I, I dug some, uh, I think I ended up with one good one. The rest were rotten. Let's see if we can do any better today. some baby ones. I'm surprised we got that. Let's try one where the water didn't stay quite as long. Well, better, but it's not going to be a good crop. Not at all. That's a result of way too much rain and way too little drainage on my part. I mean, I should have known that. Uh, next time, I guess. <laughs> At the end of the potato row, we have our pumpkin. And you can see they're flowering real well. Still on the same row, we have some watermelon. It's doing pretty good too. These are some young cantaloupe that uh, Ricky sent me from North Carolina. They're just coming up. When you plant your uh, whatever, watermelon, cantaloupe, pumpkin, keep the ground moist until they pop up. In another part of the garden, I have some more cantaloupe planted. And I see I've got a little flower on this one. It also could use a whole, 
The grass is really taken. Again, a result of all this rain. Some jalapenos that I planted about a week and a half ago. Looks like they'll make it. And just a little way down the row, we have some cayenne peppers that I planted yesterday. The okra is coming along real well, but it's got a lot of grass too. It also needs to be thinned out. Just beyond the okra is some field corn I planted. First year trying that in the garden. Field corn, that's going to be used to uh, crush up and uh, given to the worms. Here is a cool weather crop. And I'm surprised they're still making. Next to that, I have a couple of cauliflower. Uh, again, cool weather crop. Not sure if they'll make it. I still have lettuce growing in the in containers. Remember the upside down cucumbers? They've grown a little bit since you've seen them last. On the very top of the rack, I got some onions drying out. Check out the cucumber. I might have to pick these tomorrow or the next day. West Indies gherkins that uh, James sent me from Texas. I've got another one to put in a pot and then they're going to go on the rack. That's a big old pot of green onions that I planted this spring. I'd say about another month and I'll be cutting those and putting them up in the freezer. I have gotten a ton of emails asking about the uh, worm casting experiment. On this side, these three, that's the pots without the worm castings. They were planted a day before these over here with the worm castings. The ones with the castings came up quicker and as you can see are growing a lot faster. Well, hope you enjoyed the field trip and we'll catch you next time. Lash Pops.